You know, it's no secret I've made some money on Redbubble, T Public, Etsy, you know, using print on demand. I love getting free money and you know, I hope nobody thinks in this video I'm just going to be beating up on the ones I love. But uh, you know, I think it's important to showcase things that are not perfect in this world, you know. It's amazing when we see like lots of gifts and you know, we look at this cat picture and I go, wonderful, and I get all excited. This little cute pug picture, I get all excited. But then the reality sets in, and I'm gonna show you some reality in this video. These are five dirty little secrets that Redbubble doesn't want you to know. And then look, you might already know some of them, but let's be realistic. It's time to get a bit nasty and a bit frustrated at the way the real world works in this episode. And hey, we can have some fun. We can all band together and go, yes, I'm not alone because I'm horribly annoyed by some of the things that Redbubble is doing. So let's go. All right, so I'm on Redbubble and I'm all excited here. I just typed in to a Redbubble superhero t-shirts. Superhero t-shirt. So let's see what we've got here to uh, shop for our birthday gift for our friend. Oh, trademark infringement. Probably trademark infringement. Trademark infringement. All of these are logos for superheroes. That's a phrase from a movie. Man, it's sketchy. Come on, man. That's Deadpool. Like, I mean, uh, Spider-Man, Flash, X-Men. I mean, you can argue some of these are parody, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of public domain in here. I'm seeing a whole lot. I mean, Mighty Mouse, come on, man. Like, and this is on the first page of Redbubble. Like, that's the part that kind of, you know, makes me angry. It's like, I'm a hardworking artist. I'm working Saturday night trying to upload designs to make some sales. And the front page is an obvious Disney design, an obvious Marvel design, an obvious DC design. And these are not licensed. There's no way these are licensed. Some of them are downright rude and nasty. I mean, do you really think we want to see a picture of Wolverine with his pants fold, pulled down? I mean, that's the first result on Redbubble. The Hulk, a naked Hulk with his butt staring at me. How embarrassing for Marvel. So, and how embarrassing for Redbubble, just as importantly. So I implore Redbubble, if you're watching this video, if you ever have a person that goes around and scoops up things off the internet, for goodness sakes, please clean up the copyright infringement on this website. It's absolutely brutal for normal artists like myself and many people watching this channel. It's, I mean, it's brutal. It's very frustrating. Here's just a picture of the WandaVision television show. It's on the first page of Redbubble. 58,000 designs, and this is in the top 40 or 50 designs? I mean, come on, man. This is just a straight up picture of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it got through. Meanwhile, we're all getting busted for copyright infringement off of some obscure design that we didn't even know was trademarked. Anyway, rant over, just be aware. We're all aware of this. The artists are really, really fed up with this. And, you know, what I would suggest is down at the bottom, you know, if enough people complain, I'm just going to go right down to the bottom and you can contact Redbubble. You know, there's copyright, there's contact us, you know, there's social, you know, if enough of us maybe complain to Redbubble, maybe this will get changed someday. I think it's an absolute embarrassment that Redbubble and TeePublic and other print-on-demand sites allow this to happen. They need to do a better job of policing this because I know they always throw their hands up and say, well, we're independent third parties. Yeah, I get it, but it's hurting legitimate artists like you and me that are playing by the rules and we can't get our design seen because out of the 58,000 designs, the first page is taken up of almost all copyright and tra trademark and French items. So another problem that Redbubble has, and it's not really Redbubble's problem, it's more like it's our problem as artists, is if you find a niche, it gets filled up. So I know I talk about trending niches and finding a niche and dominating a niche. I actually look for niches that are not trending. I know that's weird. I know that's the opposite of, you know, some advice you may hear on YouTube. And I've even given out the advice, hey, catch a trend and, you know, make a bunch of sales. I actually look for trends that are, I, I look for genres that are not trending. 
meaning I don't want other people to find out about them. So I actually go into micro niche and you know, that's a strategy that people use. They look up really, really tiny niches, little tiny towns that live near, you know, that are near them, little tiny genres of, uh, you know, of the world that they go, okay, nobody else knows about this. Here's COVID, 325,000 results. Can you imagine when this first started? Can you imagine when the pandemic first began and somebody types in COVID and gets back 12 results? And they're going, holy moly, gold mine much? Well, a year later now, there's 325,000 designs. So whatever you type in, you know, if you type in, you know, governor of California, for example, and, you know, you've got 115 results. That's a pretty good niche. I'm telling you right now, that's a good niche. But it's probably not going to last because more and more people are figuring out People are angry at their governor or they're angry at their local politician or they're supporting their local politician. So whatever genre you can find, the dirty little secret is it won't last. You can't just upload 20 designs and then expect for the next 10 years, a bunch of money's gonna come rolling in. This passive income is really active income. I upload regularly at least 10 designs a week if I take the week off. Could be up to 50 designs a night if I'm really into it. It's, it's work. I look at it as a part-time job, right? So again, dirty little secret there that Redbubble is going to say, hey, upload 30 designs and sit back. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to be very diligent about continually finding new niches and exploring new trends as they come up and they will not last. All right, the third dirty little secret that I want to talk about is the Redbubble Partner Program. Can I just say for like 10 seconds, this feels like we're standing like literally by the water cooler complaining about our boss. So I'm like instead of Zen water cooler, this is like mean water cooler. So I just think this is hilarious. Anyway, hope you guys are taking this with a bit of grain of salt here. I like getting riled up about stuff. So this one's the Redbubble Partner Program. Now I've actually done a video, a couple of videos about the Redbubble Partner Program, and I am a fan artist and I am part of the Redbubble Partner Program. However, I've, I'm frustrated by it. I'm a human being too. I've submitted design after design after design that gets rejected, gets rejected, gets rejected. It's a good thing I've got thick skin or I'd go jump off a bridge somewhere because I spent all afternoon designing Redbubble Partner Program designs and then they get rejected. So if you've never heard of this before, there is licensed Redbubble designs. You can do Rick and Morty, you know, Adventure Time. There's a whole bunch. There's check out the entire list of brands. Well, I mean, I've gone in and I've looked at this list of brands and I mean, it's, it's pretty exciting to see. You know, I've looked at this brand list and it's pretty exciting. I mean, you look down here and we've got Alfred Hitchcock and we've got Chris Farley, Conan O'Brien, uh, you know, F Full Frontal with Sam B, Kiss. I mean, good grief. I mean, I'm a middle-aged man. I mean, of course I love Kiss. I mean, good grief. There's a ton. Pan Am, Rick and Morty. You know, there's just a ton. And what happens is we get all excited. We start uploading designs like a madman, rejected, 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 rejected. If you go into some of these partner programs and you actually look up the actual designs that got through, in some cases, there's hardly any. It's really frustrating. So I just wanted to let you know that because, you know, I don't want this to just all be roses on this channel where you're thinking, oh man, you know, Zen Water Cooler's got it so easy. I mean, he's talking about the Redbubble Partner Program. He probably lives in a huge mansion and drives a yacht to work every day. No, I get my designs rejected just like you. And I think they're pretty darn good if I'm being perfectly humble. And it's a bit frustrating when they don't get approved. So just keep the course, stay the course. You know, and another thing I'll say, if I'm gonna get on my little soapbox here is Redbubble, if you're gonna reject a design, at least tell us, explain to us what the problem is instead of us just beating our heads against the wall and saying, sorry, it's been rejected. Now we're not going to tell you why, but you stink. It's like, well, thanks a lot. Spent all afternoon working on this. So the fourth dirty little secret is just that some genres are completely full. I mean, if you go in here and you search cute cat, good luck, 480,000 results and, you know, obviously, wouldn't it be wonderful to be on the first page? But let's be real. I mean, I might as well just go buy a lottery ticket. If I type in cute dog, 449,000 results. And it grows every day. So it, it kind of stinks because if you're new to Redbubble, you want to upload 
a funny cat design or a funny dog design or some sort of popular genre. That's, you know, you go to bed at night dreaming that you're going to have like a really fun design. And instead, the dirty little secret is the way to make sales is to exploit underutilized niches. And the next thing you know, you're uploading castle designs from the 1860s for people that enjoy you know, horseback riding and you're going, what? this is not the genre that I was expecting to upload to, right? So I just want to point this out that it it's not great. I mean, I love cats and I love dogs and I would love to be part of these genres. But when I do upload these designs, it's purely for my own fun. I think I've maybe sold two ever because these genres are just so, so saturated. You know, God help you if you ever type in the word just funny, 5.8 million designs for funny. I mean, the people that are on the front page, I'm sure they're, you know, they're driving Lamborghinis around town, but the rest of us are all going, man, must be nice. Uh, so anyway, a little jealous. So good for them. I mean, obviously the people that made it to the front of this, uh, you know, page, great, good for you. Of course, this goes back to my first one, Darth Vader design. Super bad design. I mean, it's so brutal that on the front pages, it's these trademarked images, but I already did my rant. You don't need to hear me do that again. Okay, the fifth dirty secret is really makes me sad. And, you know, I'm just, I picked a design at random. This could be true for any design, okay? I just want to point that out there. So if you're like, hey, you know, because you're showing this, that person's going to get their design ripped off. This could be for any, literally any design on Redbubble. I just picked this one at random. So this is a great little design. It says, mess with the honk, you get the bonk. And it's on a t-shirt and it's on a hoodie. And here's the sticker. Well, here's my problem, okay? If I have any sort of computer skills at all, which I do, I'm like, I'm not saying I would do this, but I'm just saying, imagine an evil version of me sitting somewhere in the world going, huh, I really like this. But obviously there's a markup for this design. Well, what's to stop me from just right clicking this and just saving this page or, you know, doing a screenshot of this and just, you know, maybe I just jiggle the font a little bit over here. I mean, the entire watermark is over here. It's this little tiny watermark on the bottom. That's brutal. Even when, you, you know, T Public's got slightly better, but not much. There's way, ways around these watermarks. So people steal these images all the time. It's brutal. If you type in a popular, genre or a popular phrase, you're going to get this literally the exact same result, 5, 10, 15, 20, 100 times as you scroll through millions of results. You have to be completely vigilant that somebody somewhere, if they ever steal your design, now you're scrolling, you're spending your evening scrolling through designs to see if anybody ripped you off. I've had this personally happen to me. So I'm speaking here as a victim myself. This is our new victim support group meeting. Thank you for attending. You know, I've had a po rel relatively popular designs just get completely stolen. And they just, you know, what happens is people save it to Pinterest. They then save it as a high quality JPEG file or PNG file. They run it through Photoshop and they just, you know, make the tiniest of alterations or they just flat out steal the design. And if they don't care about the watermark and the watermark's maybe off to the side, it's as good as theirs. They can upload it. They can get it printed at cost. Their markup is zero. Your markup's one penny. Too bad. They'll sell it for themselves. That really stinks. So I wish Redbubble had a better watermarking of the designs. And, you know, T Public's a little bit better, but I wish they just had it like impossible or really, really discourage, you know, thieves from just right clicking or using a screen grab technology to take that information out. Uh, it really stinks for a hardworking artist like myself and for you as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my rant. I have nothing of value to offer in you in this except my sympathies and to say, you know what, Redbubble? We love you. You need to clean up your act a little bit. If you're going to be a legitimate player in the world for the next 10 years, we need to get this stuff under control. You know, it's a lot like Walmart or Target or a major supermarket. Imagine if you go to your favorite local store and there's people just walking out the door with skids of stuff they didn't buy. They're stealing it. You'd be like, hey, hey, you're not supposed to be doing that. Well, come on, Redbubble. You've got people coming into your store stealing our designs. We need to work as a partnership here. We need to get this cleaned up. If you're going to be a force over the next five or 10 years, we need to get this stuff cleaned up. So I implore Redbubble if you, look, I don't know if they're watching this video, but I know as artists, we can always complain about this stuff to them. 
we can always voice our opinion and do the right thing. Don't use trademark designs. Don't be part of the problem. I know it stinks. You're playing straight and narrow while other people are taking shortcuts. I hope, hope, hope they will get caught someday. Anyway, thanks for listening to me rant. I absolutely, you know, love and, and appreciate you guys and all the comments you guys make on this channel. Thank you so, so much. And, you know, we are a community. We are artists. And, you know, we need to support each other. So, you know, thanks for watching. And, you know, I hope you found this helpful.